Hello everybody and welcome back to Cat's Corner. I am Cat and this is my corner of YouTube. Today you will notice that I have a slightly new background and that is because I'm finally getting through my room re makeover. Now if you looked at the rest of my room you would scream, but this little corner right here is looking fine. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about something that I am thoroughly pissed off about and that I hope gets Walmart's attention. And now I'm sure there are going to be people being like, Catherine, what did you expect? It's Walmart. I have been hunting for uh, another Urban Decay Naked Palette ever since they retired theirs because I wasn't able to purchase a second one in time for theirs to all like go out of the beauty stores. I have my Urban Decay palette right here. This is the back. This is the top. This is the front. Inside, it has been loved. And is the brush that it comes with. It says, uh, where is it? Urban Decay Naked. Now, why am I showing you this? Because I went online and I found that Urban Decay, or not Urban Decay, I'm sorry, that Walmart has a bunch of companies that they work with and let them sell on their website like makeup, like higher end things. And I was like, okay, it's Walmart, like that should be pretty good. Well, I went out and I purchased the Naked Urban Decay Palette. Now, the back of the box looks a little weird in my opinion, but I didn't think much about it. I was like, okay, you know, it looks normal. Um, and, you know, I took both of my palettes and I, let me just show you this one, all right? Here is the front. Here's the top. Here is the back, and do you want to see the inside? Let's see if I can get you get to show this. Do you see that? Do you see how shattered that is? Oh, and do you want to see this definitely not fake brush at all? Here is the Urban Decay Naked Smoky brush but there is no way that is the real brush either because this is what mine looks like you may say hmm that looks a little familiar you sure about that how about now yeah there's some differences going on now it's very faint like if I wasn't an avid Urban Decay fan I probably wouldn't have noticed I probably wouldn't have read the brush either however I am and when it came with shattered eyeshadow I was like are you kidding me now let's go through and compare shadows so let me first read off the shadows for the Urban Decay uh, naked, the original, like the real one. This is Virgin, Sin, Naked, Sidecar, Buck, Half-Baked, Smog, da uh, Dark Horse, Toasted, Hustle, Creep, and Gunmetal. You can see that right there. Now, Let's see, do the eyeshadows say the same thing? Like, let's see how good of a knockoff we have. All right, okay, we have, I can't like hold it up, so I'm gonna kind of like do it like this. Virgin, Sin, Naked, Sidecar, Buck, 
half-baked, smog, dark horse, toasted, hustle, creep, gun battle. To my knowledge, yeah, that is the exact same shades in the exact same order. Okay, okay, we're doing pretty good, we're doing pretty good. But here's where I know the difference is. One, look at these two. What do you notice? Hmm, on the real one, the Urban Decay is over here. On the fake one, the Urban Decay is over here. Huh, weird. Now, at first I was like, okay, uh, well maybe it's just like they switched up their packaging halfway through. But if I really look at it, there it is in smaller font, there's less space in between in this one, and there's just something a little different between the palettes. Like they've gotten the font almost exactly perfect um, if I'm looking at it, but the biggest indicator is going to be the back of this palette. You may notice that this has more font on it than this one does. And let's see, let's see what the real palette says on the back. It says, beauty with an edge, with a little R, so copyrighted. And it says, distributed by Urban Decay Cosmetics, LLC, Newport Beach, California, um, blah, 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 they give their address, and it says eyeshadows, 12 by 13 grams, um, and then for each shadow, it's 12, oh no, it's 12 by 1.3 grams, sorry, and then for each eyeshadow, its net weight is 12 times 0 0.05 ounces bulk made in USA, assembled in Dominican Republic. Um, it has the little jar that opens with, I, the number's so worn off at this point. It says shadow brush, uh, crease brush, made in China. And then obviously the other languages. Let us see what our lovely fake Urban Decay decided to add to this. Okay, it says eyeshadow palette and then a bunch of different languages with eyeshadow palette. Oh, it says beauty with an edge, copyright, uh, eyeshadow palette, and then it says eyeshadow palette in a bunch of different languages. Then it says distributed by Urban Decay Cosmetics, LLC, Newport Beach, California, 92663 USA. Uh, let me make sure this address is accurate to the other one. Let's see, Newport Beach, Newport Beach, okay. And it says 445 Promenade de Los, oh, then it says that in another language on this one. Um, and it does on this one as well. But that, then it starts getting weird. It does have the correct um, weight for the product. However, it says, the part where I know it's false is it has the little jar that's opening. It says 24 months, and then it just says brush, made in China, UrbanDecay.com. Huh. You know, if it was accurate and they didn't give me a false brush, it should have said shadow brush crease brush made in China. But here they just say brush made in China. UrbanDecay.com. Nowhere on here is there an UrbanDecay.com and the little uh, little jar opening is significantly larger on this one. Like it's no mistake in that. Um, now I have to be honest this company is must be really freaking good at dupes like 
they have to be unless unless for some reason this company is actually like a girl somewhere in the middle of LA just selling an old Urban Decay eyeshadow palette she didn't have the brush blah 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 but on the website when I looked again it says that the that there are only six left now when I bought mine it said there was only one left so clearly they're doing like the false uh, false supply to increase demand kind of thing and they charged me I think I had to pay about fifty eight dollars like with shipping and everything and so I think I paid fifty four for the palette which isn't that's not unreasonable that's like an Urban Decay price however I didn't get an Urban Decay product I got a really nice knockoff product and because I got a knockoff, like, I'm not going to be using that. One of the main reasons I got it was so that I could use it on my, with my cousin's wedding coming up. I'm not putting possibly fake makeup on somebody. Like, that's so dangerous. It's so not smart. And I am so disappointed with Walmart. Like, I just filled out a review on, um the Urban Decay, uh, on the actual like seller's feedback thing, I wrote the actual seller an email and was like, I demand a refund. I just contacted Walmart two separate times because they don't give you enough space to write out all the problems. Um, and I was like, I demand a full refund. I demand a full refund. And I'm going to be putting this video up because this is insane. Like, this is ridiculous. I, and like, I don't have a ton of money. I really don't have a lot of money. And I am just so furious that I spent a decent amount of money on a palette that I've been wanting so badly because, let me tell you, I have not had this for 24 months. I have had this since I was 16. This was my first eyeshadow palette I ever bought that was like a real eyeshadow palette, you know what I mean? And it means a lot to me. And as you can see, I've hit sidecar, uh, I've hit uh, pan with that, I'm about to hit it with half-baked, and the shadows just don't perform as well as they did when I first got them. And this new one, how ironic that Sidecar was the one to shatter. Um, and like, honestly, if I look at them, some of them look like, oh my gosh. The pans aren't even even in the thing. Like some of them are tilted wrong. And like, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the camera. Can you see how bad that looks? Like, they are not even, especially, like, right here. You can tell that Smog and, uh, what's it called, Dark Horse is totally screwed up in their things. Like, these are really deep set. Like, it's just obvious. Obvious that they're fake, and I'm just, I'm very mad, and, like, I will get a refund. Like, I'm not paying to have the ship back because when I went onto this seller's uh, website or thing like let's see if I can pull it up can't even begin to tell you how pissed off I was um, okay so I have found the product like description on the website so I'm going to read it for you and see what checks out and what doesn't let's see um, now it does say at the beginning, and I'm not entirely sure what that means, we aim to show you correct product information. Manufacturers, suppliers, and others provide what you see here, and we have not verif oh, pardon me. verified it. So I'm not 100% sure what that means, but uh, y'all need to start doing that. <laughs> um, Okay, so it says on the back, create the ultimate neutral looks for day or night with the Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. No one does neutral color palettes like Urban Decay. This exclusive makeup eyeshadow palette features this brand's 
best neutral shades, including shimmery and satin colors that blend together beautifully. I would agree with that. That is accurate. The curated colors flatter every eye look with finely milled powder formulations that glide effortlessly across eyelids, from the arch to the crease. The kit, the kit includes 12 shades plus a double-ended eye, double double-ended shadow and blending brush for effortless use. Now they have a picture of the back uh, of the box. I don't know if you can like see that. Um, so let's see if that's what, if they literally just took that from the back. No, because this one says it's the palette that revolutionized neutral colors loaded with 12 bronze hued shadows in an insane range of textures only UD could dream of including matte satin shimmer and sparkle naked proves that neutral is anything but boring from the palettes from the palest champagne to the grittiest gunmetal it's all here whether you're going for a laid back beachy vibe or black tie drama you'll definitely look better naked Okay. Oh my gosh! And on the box, I didn't even realize that. It shows the double-ended shadow blending brush. Right there. Now, according to, like, this palette, they do, it looks identical on the box. Now, something going into the rest of the thing. Urban Decay Naked 12 Shades Eyeshadow Palette, new in box. This is not new. Um, I know this because look at this crusty mirror. Like, it's not just from the shattered eyeshadow. Like, it's got smudges all over it that, like, I can't get rid of. And if I look at mine, like... Mine is cleaner than theirs. So, questioning things. It says, uh, neutral eye palette of universally flattering bronze hued shadows for the ultimate neutral looks. Okay, correct. Includes 12 shadows and one double ended shadow and blending brush. Yeah, no, this is not um, a shadow and blending brush. This is apparently a brush I can't get out of the palette. Ah! This is a knockoff of the Urban Decay Smoky, which has a, let's see, um, what type of brush? Ah, oh, poo, they don't say in here, but I believe it's a bullet and crease brush. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Um, so, yeah, because, like, I don't know where you're gonna put the eyeshadow on with, like. Oh my gosh! And this literally has eyeshadow coming off of it when I do that. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, let me look at my other brush and see how it feels compared to this to see see how we're doing in the fake quality. Their bristles are a little bit looser than the original one, but now I have like black eyeshadow all over. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, anywho, moving on. Finely milled powder shades blend effortlessly. Okay, shades of eyeshadows in virgin, cool, pale, beige, satin. Sin, okay, shades of eyeshadows are, they list all the different ones, um, which seem to be correct. And then it says blending brush and eyeshadow shades in a dozen colors. Interesting. Now, so far, they have five-star reviews, which I don't understand because I wrote a review 
and it is not good, but apparently it didn't show up. It says, one of them says, I've been using the Urban Decay Naked Palette for years and will never switch eyeshadow brands. The colors are all great for blending, but also unique enough that you only need one palette for any outfit. There are daytime and nighttime shades as well. The palette comes with a brush and mirrors, they didn't put mirrors, uh, which is also helpful if you're on the go. Why is it that I think that that maybe came from someone at the company? Because if they are such an Urban Decay fan, they would know that that's not a real palette. Like, all it took was me looking at it like twice and I was like, what? Anywho, next one. I love the Naked eyeshadow palettes. I own three now, Original, Smoky, and Basic and they really do work super well together. I've had this palette for about two years and I love it just as much today as I did the day I bought it. I recommend using the basic palette for the neutral undertones as many of the colors in this palette are sparkly, but I'm all for it. Okay, that's kind of weird just because like, both of these never really commented on the actual eyeshadow palette. They're only commenting on like Urban Decay and the actual Naked product, which I don't disagree with any of their looks, though I don't know what the basic palette would be. I don't know if basic is supposed to be the Naked 2 or Naked 3. I don't really know, but I do know that this product is crap, and honestly, I wouldn't have investigated it more if the shadow hadn't shattered. And the reason I say that is because this box, sorry, okay, this is the box it came in. Oh yeah, this is another story. Um, they made me pay for postage because they put the wrong postage on the box. So I had to pay like $4 for their postage. Like, excuse me? Um, what? And for all of you, so you know, it says this is the warehouse of SBR Trading Inc. Uh, in Houston, Texas. However, if you look at where this came from, it is supposedly from, um, I think it's like toys and something or another. Uh, yeah, it is, they say that it's from sold and shipped by Toys and Gifts USA. Oh, and you want to know even more, something that's just even more amazing? <laughs> Guess what their return policy is? Return within 30 days after item is delivered. Okay, that's fair. Uh, there's a 20% restocking fee, a $5 return shipping fee, and it says Walmart Marketplace sellers will be required to have minimum return window of 30 days. The new policy will cover all sellers and categories. Um, blah, 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 blah. Use minimum standards for item returns. Let's see what Walmart's minimum standard returns are. Okay, their minimum is uh, return shipping fee. The seller will specify the return shipping fee up front on the items page and restocking fees, the maximum restocking fee that can be charged for any reason will not exceed 20% of item price. Isn't that interesting? Um, because if I paid $56 for this eyeshadow palette, 20%, let's see, that's like $10, $12 just for a restocking fee. And then I also have to pay another $5, so that's $15. And it's just like, I don't know, it just blows my mind because also, what is this box? This looks like, like, do they still have Christmas boxes around? Like, I don't know. And I'm sorry, but this eyeshadow box came in this box. 
which means, do you want to know how they protected this eyeshadow palette? That's how they protected it. Literally with nothing. And this literally is all that was in the box, was the eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette was in here like this. And then that was it. There was no like receipt. There was no nothing, which made me suspicious right away because like, I'm sorry, what makeup company have you ever met? Or like, what company have you ever met that sells makeup products and keeps them in these like crappy, like package conditions where you know the eyeshadow is going to shatter? I don't know. I'm just oh, so mad. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I am going, I, mm, cause see part of me wants to do like one eye, regular Urban Decay Naked palette, one eye, this false one, but like honestly, like I don't trust it. Um, it, I, like, there's just a lot of unknowns about this and I don't know like I'm gonna look more into like ingredients and maybe pop something up but like <sighs> okay here's my final thing if you are buying a makeup palette outside of Ulta, Sephora, or the actual website in which it comes from, do your investigation. Like, look into it. Make sure it's the actual palette. Now, Nordstrom Rack, Ross Dress for Less, um, Burlington, ones like those, especially Nordstrom, like they're fairly credible. Like you know that you're pretty much getting the product because a lot of it's just discontinued from somewhere else. But apparently Walmart is utter crap and I'm really pissed and on all my things that I sent to people I'm like I will be getting a full refund back. Like there's no way I'm selling this back to you and paying you $15 to return a crappy palette and yeah no like that's not happening so I am very very pissed I think I'm gonna show you a side by side swatch of all the colors right after this as you can tell there is definitely a difference you can see virgin on one side and you can't really on the other um, there is a difference in colors the one on the left is uh, the false palette the one on the right is the real um, I definitely noticed a difference with buck which is the color right there um, you can definitely just tell there's like a difference in color, especially in the darker colors. Um, here, I'll do it like this. I'm trying to find like good lighting. Oh wait, here we go. Um, when there's more of a shadow, you can really tell the difference. Um, it just like, it. I don't know. You can definitely just tell the difference. Is showing you that on all the summaries that I got when Walmart sent me emails, it said that both the Walmart's shipping and the Toys and Gifts USA shipping was free. However, I did have to pay for postage, so that doesn't really line up. Also, it is July 2nd when I am uh, getting this ready, and as you can see, since June 28th, when I sent my complaints, they have still not emailed me back about anything. 
Hey everybody, I know this is terrible quality. Uh, this is just editing me, realizing I never filmed an outro to the video. Um, so this was just a video of me being very unhappy and kind of exposing Walmart for some of the crap that it's doing and hopefully I will get my full return but for those of you who are like me and looking for the naked palette um honestly just pick out your favorite shades from the palette and buy them on the Urban Decay website because at this point I don't think you can find a credible one um just be a smart shopper and uh, thank you to everyone who stuck with me through this entire video. I know it was long, but I just really wanted to show all the evidence on something shady going on because the companies aren't the same, the postage, the shipping, the box, the address, just everything is wrong. I've never received a false makeup product before, so this was just very alarming to me, and I hope that you guys, um, I don't know, find some awareness in this. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've ever had an experience like this, or if you have any stories, feel free to comment them down below. And do not forget to hit that big subscribe button right down here. I look forward to seeing all my fabulous new uh, subscribers in the next video. Thanks guys, and I hope you are having a fabulous morning, afternoon, night, day, and evening, wherever you may be. Bye!